given the pressure that our hospitals and ICUs are facing, um, the fact that we don't have a population-based vaccination program underway as of yet um, at a population level, and the fact that we have dangerous variants in our communities, it is concerning that we are uh, reopening at this time. Health professionals are sounding the alarms after news the province is set to lift the stay-at-home orders in some areas over the coming days. The concern is how another surge in cases would disproportionately hit the less fortunate and marginalized people living in the province. In fact, Toronto Public Health just announced someone tested positive for the COVID-19 variant at a local shelter. I do understand that people are tired People are at a stage where they want to get on with their lives and resume their lives. But we have to remember that the COVID-19 virus is not an equal opportunity virus. It disproportionately has a greater burden on people who are uh, living in poverty, on, on racialized communities, on essential workers. And given the fact that this virus doesn't impact us all equally, we need to think of those who live on the margins and will be hardest hit by these policy decisions. We now know that a total of 456,947 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been administered. Of the 786 people in hospital with COVID-19, 287 are in the ICU and 203 are on ventilators. The province plans to lift the stay-at-home order in most areas except Peel, York and Toronto and transition back to the color-coded system later this week. Those three hotspot zones will follow suit on the 23rd. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.